So when you think about what's an area of change, like shifting, then, okay, what are the two areas that I need to grow most in? And what are some very specific goals that I can create around that? And I always think of smart goals and people forget about smart goals because they often think that, um, it's not something that's talked about a ton, but smart goals are actually, um, kind of developed by Harvard, Harvard business review as an opportunity to be able to, um, really legitimize what you're working on and really clarify ideas so that they're attainable. And that's actually one of the, um, elements of smart goals. So smart goals are specific S M for measurable, a for achievable, R or attainable, R for relevant, and T for time bound. They allow you to write goals that are clear, attainable, and meaningful. So when you're doing your goal setting, we really truly want the goals to be something that you can achieve, that you can feel good about, that you can then check off your list and be like, I am a badass because you are a badass and I believe in you and you can do this. You can do this. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And but it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes focus. And that's the one that I'm always like reevaluating because I'm like, I can do a lot of things, but I gotta be focused on what I'm doing. Otherwise, I just do a whole lot of a whole lot of nothing, or I'm doing something, but I'm doing a whole lot of different things. So um, zeroing in on that. So if you think about um, career goals, if you want to achieve something within your career, then kind of think of even just one thing that you really want to work towards. So that could be, okay, I really want to focus on, um, you know, building my business in some way. So then maybe think of, okay, specific, what is that specific goal within your business? Maybe you want to build your social media presence. Um, so they're like, okay, or marketing, you really want to focus on marketing. Marketing's like one of my favorite things in life, but it wasn't something that always was natural to me. I've spent very dedicated time learning about it, understanding about like how to be better at it and like working to be able to like be someone that can actually show up in that way in a really authentic format. Um, and to be able to help others, um, you know, also do that. So that's just been a huge focus of mine within the last recent years because of my business and the requirement of social media and within marketing myself in order to get more clientele. So marketing yourself is huge. So if you're like, okay, I want to build this. Um, so how do I do that? Let's be specific. Do you want to gain followers? Do you want to increase engagement? Followers don't always necessarily equate to business. So know that too, unless you're trying to be an influencer, but, um, connecting with your clients is actually, or potential clients, or even with, um, you know, students that you want to work with or whatever it might be, that's usually more of the focus. So then, okay, I want to connect with more students. I want to convert. I want to be able to create more business from this. Okay. Well, how am I going to do that? I want to be more engaging. Okay. Well, what's a measurable way to be more engaging? Do you want to have like more polls? Do you want to be able to create more DMS? Um, and then correct and like creating, facilitating new relationships with people you've never met. Like, what is that? What's that measurable aspect of it and make sure it's achievable. Like, okay, I want to talk to 10 new people on Instagram each week. That's I think very achievable. What does that mean for you? How do you do that? Um, and relevant. Okay. How does this actually work towards my goal? Okay. I want to be more present on social media and then I want to be able to connect more and convert more from that. Okay. Well then that's relevant that you're connecting and engaging with more people on a weekly basis and then time bound. So that's it. So have that either time bound and then, or maybe say, I want to connect with 10 people with, and I usually always say connect, create goals that are about three months long. Cause that's going to be something that's going to stick and it's actually going to be more sustainable. And you're also going to see the results from it. If you're like, I'm going to do this for a week. Well, it might not come up in a week. You might not really see ultimately see the results within a week. So I usually say 90 day goals are usually the most effective because that's enough time to put in practice, to be able to see your results and then to be able to generate something from it. So and that's one way to create a smart goal. Um, but think about this for yourself. So whatever those two areas that you feel like are lacking the most within your pie of life chart, create smart goals around those. So then as you create your smart goals, you kind of analyze what that means for you. You write them down. Writing down your goals is so important to be able to write them down, to be able to see them, to reflect on them each day, to make conscious effort and action towards them is 
critical. So write out what those goals are, put them, like write them out, put them in your bathroom, on your mirror, in your bedroom, wherever you're going to look at them consistently. That's all that really matters. And then really take time, you know, each week throughout those three months to be able to evaluate um, what direction you're headed in, that you're moving towards them, and that you are getting closer towards what you destined to do. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to be perfect. There's not going to be tough days. Trust me, there's going to be some tough days throughout that. There'll be moments where you want to just give up. There'll be probably moments where you're not really trying as hard as you were at other times. That's okay. Just keep going. Continue. Be able to continue to push yourself. Believe that it's possible. Know that you're worth it. Know that it, that you're capable of it and that everything's going to work out exactly as it should. As long as you trust yourself and move forward from that place of trust and belief within the universe to provide, within God to provide, within yourself to be able to know that whatever goals you've set are truly what you are intended to do and to kind of take action from that space to believe that it's already yours, right? The the key of manifestation is believing that it's already occurred. So tapping into that, seeing where it takes you. Thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you want to do this in a much more organized and intentional way with a coach involved, that's what I'm here to do. I really am really dedicated to helping others find a harmonious sense of purpose and joy within their life. And I believe that both are key in order to feel fulfilled. So if you are interested in working with me on an ongoing basis, or even just want to check in on my Shine Bright program, which gives more online um, workshops, and then I do still do three coaching ses- sessions with you, it's only $222. Um, and so it's pretty affordable and it offers you an opportunity to be able to get that one-on-one coaching with me and to see if you'd like to do a three-month program or if you would prefer to just stick and kind of do it more on your own um, in a more autonomous way. And that's a-okay with me too, but it's nice to be able to get some feedback, um, some guidance, and help work out some of those kinks that we sometimes run up against that can leave us feeling a little stuck while this can be an opportunity to break down some of those barriers and to be able to shift and more of a um, abundant mindset in all facets of the way. So not just with finances, but also with an abundant mindset of time, of energy, of love, all of it in between. So thanks for listening. I will hopefully see you very soon and tune in next week for another episode on meeting your soul and the methods and the techniques that I have learned along the way to be able to help support you on your own personal journey from a holistic and a more manageable way that feels good from the inside out.